Looking for a clean and reliable energy source for your home or business? Maybe you're looking for innovative ways to supplement your power needs, reduce your greenhouse gas emissions, or increase the value of your property. Do you need an energy solution that isn't on the grid? Whatever your reason, solar power can be a great way to provide safe, abundant energy. When sunlight hits the solar modules, the light is converted into electricity. This electricity, in the form of direct current, or DC, is wired into an inverter. Here it's converted into alternating current, or AC, which is the standard used for homes and businesses. The electricity is then fed into the electrical service panel, where it is distributed to the home or business. When the system generates more electricity than the owner needs, the excess can be directed back to BC Hydro by way of their net metering program. The meter keeps track of power that is both sent and drawn from the grid. Excess power will show up on your BC Hydro bill in the form of a credit. Solar works great in British Columbia. Uh, when you look at uh, some of the most uh, solar friendly uh, countries uh, across the world, BC ranks uh, very highly as far as, uh, uh, you know, sun hours per year. Here are some things to look for to determine if your home or business is a good candidate for solar. Do you have a south facing roof in good repair with minimal penetrations? Is your roof large enough to accommodate solar? The most common installations take up an area of more than 240 square feet. Is your roof area free from obstacles that may cause shading, such as trees or other buildings? If your roof is not appropriate, is there another space where the panels could be installed? Do you know your monthly or annual power consumption? Once you've decided that solar power is right for you, contact a reputable solar contractor. They will provide a professional system design and installation. A typical installation takes two to three days to complete. Permitting and BC Hydro net metering coordination should be taken care of by the contractor. Solar arrays can be mounted on virtually any type of roof, whether asphalt or metal, tile or a flat roof, there is a solution. Mounts and rails are affixed to the building's structure. The solar modules are attached to the rails using special clamps. Once the modules are installed, wires are connected from the solar modules to the inverter, and these are hooked up to the building's electrical distribution. String inverters or microinverters are the two most commonly used inverters. Typically we're seeing systems last, you know, kind of 35 plus years. Uh, most modules and some inverters for that matter come with 25-year uh, warranties today. So they're really resilient, really long-lasting technology. Once the installation is complete and has been inspected and approved by the local electrical inspections authority, BC Hydro will approve the application and allow the system to be connected to the grid. Well, solar is virtually maintenance free. I mean, aside from, uh, you know, having to rinse off dust or, you know, perhaps some heavy pollen in certain areas, solar just sits there and looks pretty. BC Hydro's net metering program is designed for residential and commercial customers who wish to connect a small electricity generating unit to BC Hydro distribution system. Generating units up to 100 kilowatt in capacity that utilize a clean or renewable resource are eligible to participate in the program. As a net metering customer, when you generate more electricity than you consume, you receive a credit to your account that is applied against your future consumption. Once a year, at your anniversary date, any excess generation accounts are paid out at the current published net metering rate. Your BC Hydro power bill will show the inflows, which is energy delivered from the grid to your home or business, and will show the outflows, 
which is the excess power sent to the grid by your solar array. The payback of solar is, is very hard to predict and, and the big aspect is where rates are going to go in the future. But typically right now what we're seeing based on uh, the increases from the utility is uh, a typical payback is, is around 15 years. For more information on solar power and net metering, contact BC Hydro or a reputable solar contractor.